Hi everybody, I was asked to do a video about the goats uh, housing and lots and I'm going to do that today and the horse paddock. As you can see we use row wire instead of electric wire. Uh, this works best for me. I've tried electrical wire, I've tried netting, I've tried some other things and it just does not work for us. Uh, row wire is what uh, works best for me. There's about 630 foot of wire put up here. Um, that's about the size of the lot. Uh, it took two rows of the goat bar um, to do this lot. Um, this is the first time these girls has been on this lot in two months. So we've come out to check the fencing and make sure everything is all right. Um, down there at that post, you can see how far the work goes to there. It goes way out there till you see those trees falling down. That's where uh, I found a problem that there's a, there's a lot of pines that was down and I need to uh, get out there and clean that up before it gets down on my bar. As you can see, this is pretty well a dry lot. This lot was a thicket when I first uh, put the lot up. And uh, these goats have done their job. They have absolutely cleaned it up. Uh, what greenery you see uh, on the ground, these goats will not touch that. Um, what they're doing right now is going through and picking up leaves that has fallen on the ground. This is pretty much what I call a dry lot. Um, a dry lot means that it's stuff that they won't eat. Um, it's safe to say that they won't get worm load because they're not going to eat uh, anything on the ground. And their thing is they're looking for leaves. Now this lot is still not 100% uh, done the way I want it done. There's a lot of, uh, like you see, fallen trees, uh, things like that that needs to be cleaned up. And uh, we're hoping to get that done in the near future before it gets cold. I'm going to show you a temporary hay manger. We're going to go down towards the house. Uh, this hay manger was just thrown up right fast. Um, you can use pallets or anything um, in a pinch, uh, but I do recommend you getting a proper uh, manger for your hay to be put in. Uh, you can see the canopy I kind of put up there for the goats to have a little bit of shade. Uh, even though you can see there's plenty of shade, but they like to lay closer to the house after they get done picking. So I put that canopy up for them to get under. The girls is getting frisky. Uh, they've been up in the barn for uh, two or three months other than our walks uh, because Layla had her babies, and I just don't like to leave babies unattended without being able to watch them. Here is the little hay manger, as you can see. They've tore it all to pieces, so I've got to get up here and reimburse it. But that uh, rod iron porch fencing thingy is a good idea because it's sturdy. So I need to find me another one of those and put those up. And it's got the right size hose that can get their heads in there. As you can see here, the house is sloped on a downward sloped, and the house is not level. You can also see there's tin around the house and I dug down in the ground and I put the tin down and put that tin in the ground so that it would water would run off and not into the house. I pitched the roof down towards the front instead of out to the back so the water wouldn't run off to the back and stand and puddle and seep into the house. By letting it run off to the front, the water runs down the hill instead of back into the house. Now this does not have a wood floor. It is a dirt floor. It is a dirt floor. A goat uh, droppings is round so it rose out of the building. I have never rucked that building since we've made it. I, you, keep, you don't put hay in there so you don't have to uh, worry about that. The water is not running into the building. So it's staying dry. When they use the bathroom, it rolls out to the front of the building. Uh, as you can see there, 
uh, where it's wet there, kind of uh, piled up there. The goats are taking care of that by shuffling and coming and going, and they're pushing it on down the hill. So you don't have that gom like you would if it got wet and muddy in here and you had to rake it. Here is I, how I feed my animals. I cut the hoe out. I put the bins on the outside. They stick their head through there. I'm out on the side where the cat is. I come up to the feed bins. I feed the goats. They're not stumping on me. They're not pushing on me, fighting over food. I pour it in. They eat in their proper bins. You want to keep good mineral block out. Uh, not a block. You want to keep good minerals out, which is... Uh, a loose mineral you do not want a block block is not enough copper and the proper things you need and it's not good on their uh, teeth if you can find sweet looks then get that I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly let's go over here and uh, look from the outside if I'm out there you can see I'm not around the goats at all let's go over here and talk about water I keep bleach on hand and I clean this properly every time these goats was not up here for a month this was green this had mosquito larvae in it you do not want your animals drinking from that that is just nasty and that is not healthy um, if I remember right I was told that they can get strangle worms from fly larvae and mosquito larvae from being in their water so you want to keep it clean as as possible at all times um, I've just I've seen people just refill it stagnated water and I don't like that I keep a rag and a scratcher up there at all times and uh, one of those little things of Clorox if you won't drink out of this they shouldn't drink out of it and I will right now in just a few seconds get down and I'm gonna drink out of this and show you it's drinkable if you won't drink it don't ask them to drink it. That's my motto with all my animals. They got to have clean water. You got to have clean water and hay at all times for goats. I'm going back to go get the hay. I just told you I brought them up here. Uh, plenty of hay for goats because they're rooming the animals. They need long stringy stems to keep their rooming going. People has told me that my animals are too skinny. My animals are dirty breed. If you think that brown and black goat right there is skinny, there's something wrong with you. She actually needs to lose weight. This goat that's a drinking, Layla, yes, she needs to gain weight. She just had twins uh, four months ago. Twins takes a lot out of a mama goat. Uh, plus, she's giving me almost a gallon of milk a day. So the babies are now gone. It's time to fatten her back up. We're going to start giving her uh, black sunflower seeds. Uh, senior horse feed, uh, a good goat feed, and beet pulse and fluck seed. But we wanted to do that on a, a slowly basis. We don't want to do it fast. There's the front of the house. It don't have a door on it because I want everything to run out of the door. We're going to go down and we're going to check on the horse paddock next. We'll get down here and you'll see that we slant the roof just like we did the other. We're going to go in and show you the, well, I call the front, but it's actually the back. We have a door we go in and uh, we throw their hay in the middle of this chute. There's two stalls on each side. Uh, they're, those blue bins is uh, their feed bins. Uh, this is built out of sawmill lumber. Uh, this is a nine, ten year old building. Um, it needs some boards replaced. It's it's time to do some repairs. Uh, my thing for you to, to know is do not get poplar wood. Horses will eat poplar boards down and you will be just keep on repairing. So uh, keep that in mind. Oak is best if you can find sawmill, sawmill lumber. Uh, but they don't come in there a lot because right now they got row hay. But that is for bell hay and we uh, stack it up in there. And they'll eat on it for several days. Uh, this is their pasture. It's an electric fence. This electric has not been on for over a year. Um, 
the only re way they get out is if something's after them or something you know, spooks them in the field but other than that they pretty well stay in the field um, you can see this is a pretty good sized lot for two horses um, here is Dolly she is a 15 year old Pasifino Tennessee Walker mix and over there in the back is Echo he is a Kentucky Mountain Spotted um, horse um, at the end of the goat lot there's a goat lot now we've turned it back around we can see up to the goat lot in their house on top of the hill at the end of that fence they can go around uh, the horses can and around and and to that pasture this is the first goat house that I ever made this room right here that you can see that's boxed in is a feed room you see I made them a little porch uh, my little sign says Laney's Palace uh, you come in here, this was the feed room, but I had put the baby goats in it. Uh, so, the normally Barls is sitting in there with her feed and extra hay is normally in here. Again, I cut a hole in the wall, put the feed bin on this side so that the bucks is not, you know, rubbing against me. Mineral t uh, things are out again. In here, uh, this is uh, what I would change about this uh, hay manger. As you can see, I took boards catty cornered and then I would I spaced them so far up the board so they still get their head in there and get hay. That is a bad idea because goats likes to get down in stuff. They'll jump in it and get in it. So I'm going to try to come up with a better hay way because I like to never got my goat out of there. Uh, that was a bad thing. He could have blowed it and died if I hadn't heard him hollering in time. So as you can see, they stick their head in there while I'm on the other side of there feeding them. This house is going to be moved up by the other goat house and a new lot made up there. Uh, as you can see, all the water that comes from up there runs off and down to here and it stands. This is not ideal for goats or any hoofed animal because it costs hoof rot and also stagnated water stands uh, animals drink out of that that is not healthy so the goats not been down here for a little while because of all the rain and no drainage uh, you can see those uh, concrete tiles that we had here on the property we dug up and put a new tile in that's for them to jump on and kind of send their feet down so I didn't have to uh, trim their feet so much this is all right for a buck and a wither this size lot if you can get a dry lot um, it's not ideal for goats to be out here every day uh, if you got animals in the barn and you just want them out of the barn for a while and let them be out in the fresh air this is fine but if you want to keep animals in this in a long period of time you're going to have worm load bad barber pole bad uh, when I first got goats, that was a hardcore learn for me. I thought that's just fine. That's a good enough lot for them, but actually it's not. Um, so this lot will be moved. Hopefully by spring, all this will be gone. Uh, and I'll get me a bigger yard. Um, but keep in mind, the hay manger is not ideal for goats. Um, I'm working on something to try to make a better, better way for that, but... So far, I've asked everybody in the world, and there's really no good hay manger. So I'm trying to come up with something myself. Um, I would also tell you not to put wood flooring down. It's just going to rot. It's not going to, you know, the porch is all right there. It's fine because it, they don't stay there. But inside, I would not recommend... Um, wood there is a wood floor there um even though you can't see it all that hay is just wasted hay i never threw the first drop of hay or straw down there so just keep in mind about your hay storage because um it's just uh it's a it's a it's it's just a waste a waste of feed and stuff Coming around here to show you how I get in and out of it. I just take the wire, put the gap back up, and there's nails there, and I bend the nails back over it. 
my animals are pretty well behaved they're not climbing out of stuff and getting out of stuff but this most goats gets out of everything so I would recommend a gate uh, there um, we also have solar powered lights that we put up they're motion de uh, detective or you can leave them on all day but I have it on motion sensor I can't get it to turn on because I'm not uh, tall enough to hit the real sensor button up there but um, that is uh, the goat houses and the horse um, manger so I'm going to talk about the water talked about it up there this water has been here for over two months I'm going to show you the mosquito larvae in this when I zoom in here I'm not sure if you can still can see them or not but you can see little wormies crawling around uh, that's not good and to me that is not appealing to want to drink out of I wouldn't want to drink out of it I wouldn't want my animals to drink out of it I can't stress that enough if you wouldn't stick your head down in there and drink out of it don't expect your animals to that's not healthy for you it's not healthy for them so my thing is keep the feed off the ground keep it in bins um, every now and then go through and sanitize your bins Clorox them you know you don't have to all the time but once a month twice a month sanitize things uh, keep the hay up off the floor uh, make sure uh, 